absolute value inequalities. Solve and graph the following inequality. And you are given Now here are some steps to help you solve this inequality. The first step, isolate the absolute value expression on one side of the inequality. So identify the absolute value expression, here it is. And now you wanna use inverse operations. So let's subtract two from both sides of the inequality, minus two, minus two, Positive two and negative two cancel each other out. Now you are left with the absolute value of negative two X minus three is less than five. And notice the absolute value expression is isolated. So we can check off step number one. And as a side note, absolute value expression is less than a constant. So this is gonna be an and statement. Write the word and. And now we move on to step number two, which is create two different inequalities, one positive with the same sign and one negative with the reverse sign. So let's get to that. Here you have negative two X minus three is less than positive five. That's positive and the same sign. And on the other one, you have negative two X minus three is greater than negative five. And that is negative and the sign is reversed. Take a look at the sign here, reversed. And the sign is negative. So we can check that off. Step three, solve both inequalities and graph. Let's start here. Add three to both sides of the equation. Positive three and negative three cancel each other out. You are left with negative two X is less than eight. Divide both sides by negative two. Divide here. Divide here. These two cancel each other out. Remember, always reverse the sign when dividing by a negative number. So you'll see here you have X is greater than negative four. And the sign was reversed. On the other side, we wanna add three to both sides of the equation. Positive three and negative three will cancel each other out. Now you have negative two X is greater than negative two. Divide negative two from both sides of the equation. These two cancel out. And again, reverse the sign, right? Now you're left with X is less than one. And at this point, I'm gonna draw out a number line. And let's remember our notes. And now let's remember our notes, open circles for greater than or for less than, and closed circles for greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So let's review what we have. You have X is greater than negative four. Always read from the X. So let's mark off negative four on the number line. We'll use an open circle. And because it's greater than, it's going to the right. On the other side, we have X is less than one. So let's mark off positive one. 
we're going to use an open circle. And because it's less than, we'll be going to the left. And now you see both arrows pointing towards each other. So you can just shade in the inner section. Mark off step number three. But don't forget to check your solutions. So you'd plug in a number greater than negative four to see if it's true. And plug in a number less than negative one and see if it's true. And they both are.